Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I really wanted to try this new kind of DIY method of eyelash extensions. I'm really excited. Um, I'm kind of nervous because I've never done this before and it's a different technique than I'm used to. It's not your typical lash glue or magnetic lash, nothing I'm, I've done before. So we're gonna test it out today and hopefully get some good results. So if you guys wanna see how I did this DIY at home lash extensions, let's get into it. Before we get into zooming you guys in and actually applying the lashes, I wanted to talk about what this is and what we're going to do. So a while ago, I stumbled upon some ads on like Facebook or Instagram, I'm not sure, of these DIY lash extension kit things and it's called Lashify. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen that and at first I was drawn in because anytime it's you know DIY lash extension kind of things where it's gonna last several weeks like I'm all about that I hate doing lashes but they make the biggest difference and I love the look of them so if I can get that look without the daily effort of trying to put them on with either lash glue or the magnetic lash even though I love the mag magnetic lashes more than your regular lashes I just feel like if there's a better way I want to know about it and I want to do it. So I found this, um, the Lashify system, I was looking at it, I was like that looks amazing. But it's basically little sections of a lash that you use a certain type of glue and you stick it to the underneath of your top lashes. Instead of the typical lash goes on the top, this is going to stick right to the underneath of your lashes and it's supposed to hold for I think a couple weeks so and then you get like their some kind of remover that actually removes that glue so I was so excited and I was like this, I need it I need it right now give it to me like send it to me right now today and then I saw the price <laughs> and I was like wait okay so it's it's like the same price as going and getting lash extensions done though like I don't want to do it myself if I could pay to go get whatever I was just like no it's not for me it's too expensive what's the point because I just can't justify spending that much on one set it was only one set of the lashes that you get now if, if it came with like you know a bunch of the lashes and the glue and you know whatever I could maybe see that but one set for it's basically the same price as going and getting your lash extensions done by a professional so to me it just didn't make sense well I forgot all about it whatever you know I went about my life forgot about this dream I said whatever I'm not dealing with you I can't have you it's over between us but then I was watching uh, Brittany Vasseur which I've talked about her channel and she took this lash glue this stuff that you put on and she used her own drugstore lashes to do this so basically all you need is the lashify glue which i think it was like 22 20 something dollars and then also the remover if you want that and then some tweezers which i already have these tweezers right here from tart I want to say yeah these are tart tart tweezers so you just need tweezers to squeeze them together they have tweezers on the site for 20 something dollars as well like this but these ones I think are $12 from Ulta I think that's where I got them um, I'll link everything below so it's just a way cheaper option and I'm hoping this works I have several different lashes in front of me she uses the um, Ardell some kind of wispies I'm not sure if it's the demi wispies they have all kinds of wispies now I can't even keep track but some kind of Ardell wispies and what's really nice about it is that the band is so so fine and thin 
that you're able to do something like this with it. If you have lashes with a thick band, I don't think this system's gonna work with it. I have several options. We're gonna watch her video, see how she does it. I'm gonna do it. Hopefully it works for me like it works for her because that would just be amazing. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in and we can get started. All right, so first thing, I think I wanna figure out which lashes I wanna use. So these are our Dell Demi Wispies right here. Okay, and I have some Ardell Natural, just 172 is what it says. They're just a little shorter. That's too short. That's, n that's not it. That's too short. Too natural for me. All right, so I don't want the natural ones. We're not going for a natural look, okay? All right, so then these ones are the Kiss Blowout Lash in Pixie. I think we'll go with the Ardell. Ardell Demi Wispies. And it says foam ink. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but that's what these are. I'm going to go ahead and play her video and see what we need to do first. So our first step is to take a black liquid eyeliner. I'm using this one from Hank and Henry that I got in one of my subscription boxes. And you want to color the band because she said it can be visible if you don't color it in. So we're just going to color it black. So just coloring the whole band with that liquid eyeliner. So then the next step is to take the lash and cut it into four or five little chunks. Um, and I think, I think I need to cut some off first. Yeah, I think that's too much lash for me, so I'm going to cut off a little bit first, a little chunk that I'm not going to use at all. Four little chunks, and I'm making sure to keep them in the order that they go. Alright, so she says, start with completely clean lashes, no makeup, no oil, no moisturizer, anything on your lashes. Um, mine are pretty clean, I think. I didn't like clean them, but like I cleaned my face this morning and last night before I went to bed and I didn't put stuff on there. So first thing, so you have your, this lash glue and it's double ended. So we have a black side and a more clear side and hers is like a little rubber tip. This is like an actual little spoolie. So I think they've changed it since she made her, since she bought hers anyways, cause her video went up like a not even two weeks ago. She says to do a layer of the black glue on the underneath of your lashes. Like she says, not too much, but also not too little. Like you want it to stick really good. So you, it's just kind of finding that right amount. And then also she takes the clear glue and does a little bit on the base of the lash so that you basically have a double bond sticking those little lashes on there and holding them on as long as you can. So we're gonna do that. Hopefully it's successful. Oh, I don't know why this is, I think this is making me nervous just because it's so close to your lash that I'm like, Ooh. but also you want to get it right at the base of your lashes and not on your actual waterline at all. So I feel like it might be a little tricky to get this right, but let's do it. Which one do I want to do first? I feel like I want to do this eye first. So just taking that black glue. So the spoolie makes it a little more like mascara. And she said to go from from tip to the or from the base to the tip of your lash. You just want a good coat on there. Okay. 
Then I'm going to take the first little guy and hopefully I can apply gonna work. I guess I should hold the tweezers. Okay so I just used the, the bottom part of the wand right here to get some glue off on there. My eyelashes are feeling a little sticky. All right so taking I need to be careful not to like move around all of these lashes too much because they're in order so I don't want to mess them up. So she just takes it. I think they're sticking together. Okay. So she just takes it. Ah. Sticks it on like that. Okay. I don't have many lashes on the very edge of my eye. So I'm hoping that will stay good enough because I feel like that one's not got much to hold on to. But we'll see. Okay. Next one. And she said you have, you know, a few minutes once you do the black glue. But like not a ton of time. So it's like the time, you know gotta get this on there pretty quick okay next one I mean it's looking good um, and I think too this is something that's gonna take some time to really get the hang of and then once you do you're like a pro at it so and then two using different types of lashes is going to make a difference too so finding the right lash that you like and figuring this out probably just takes a little time Okay, last one on this eye. If this stays for like two weeks, that's gonna be crazy. Okay, so the next step is just to take your tweezers and that's why it's important to have some kind of like this weird shape or theirs is actually a lot more curved and thin um just something that you can clamp down on the lashes and kind of just stick them together really well so that they want to stay so i'll go ahead and do that Okay. I mean, I will say I feel like it looks a lot better coming from underneath my natural latches, latches, whoa, <laughs> lashes, rather than sticking them on top. It just, it just looks a lot better. I don't know. Okay. So let me go ahead and get the other eye done. All right, so my camera died while I was doing the second eye. Um, but I am finished now. I think it looks pretty good. I think the second one on this eye did get a little like wonky, but overall I think it looks really good. Like, what do you guys think? I think I'm going to love this. I hope it stays on as long as it should. Um, Brittany in her video said she likes to redo it every week. She's been doing it for a while before she did her video. So we know it works for her at least. And there is like the special remover that they sell on their site. You can, she said you can use like a regular makeup remover, but it doesn't work as well. And it's more of a struggle. So 
I got the remover and I don't know what I'm how I'm gonna update this video I don't know if I'm gonna you know update you guys throughout the week or maybe do another video talking about it I'm not sure yet but I will definitely update you guys on this if it works see what happens what it's looking like um, she did also mention in her video that if you sleep on your side and you're like face is in your pillow it will kind of mess them up so I'm gonna I'm gonna see what happens when I sleep because I don't I don't know that I cannot like keep my eyes off my pillow completely I don't know I might just roll onto my face in my sleep I don't know so we're gonna try it and see but for now it looks really good so that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.